Well, while we're talking about the the myths and symbolism and things, um, I had um, told you that during um, September and also March for the equinoxes, I do a I call it friend a tree week to um, encourage people to uh, f connect with tree energy to to really feel it working in their bodies, feel it move in their bodies, and to to know that our intentions that we hold whether for ourselves or for the highest good of all can be um sent throughout the universe because the trees are all connected through the microbiome of the earth and you send it up the trees through all their energy up and out their leaves and it's broadcast then across the world right and and so i'm trying to get that get that across to people that's one thing i some of the like. ancient philosophers depicted yes. the world itself as a big tree which yes. i like yeah and that's the that's the one the mind that or the, the world soul that i'm talking about would be like the trunk of the tree we're just growing off of it you know what mm -hmm. i mean like uh we're a leaf and that energy of that leaf will fall leaf and life are the same word will fall to the ground off of the tree eventually and be absorbed back into the roots of the tree you know that's the world soul that's the uh the big mind, the great father, good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything other, um, let's say myths and things that come to mind about trees that would be interesting? Good question. There's uh, all, all the savior figures that are like crucified on a tree or hung from a tree. Mm -hmm. That's part of it too, you know? Yeah. Um, but yet I'd have to, so have to skim my notes. Nothing's coming into mind off the top of my head. Of course, there is a lot about trees. Now, as soon as I let it go, I do think of something about how the, uh, the deity Adonis, who is the Phoenician, that's the Phoenician name for like the, the sun God or the savior deity. It's like the, think the Phoenician Jesus. And also Adonis is the name that the old Testament gives to God in a lot of the original Hebrew of the text, we get like this King James version where everything's Lord and God, this and that. But most of the time they're calling uh, either Elohim, which is plural, by the way, it's goddess is plural, <laughs> not Lord, <laughs> or they're, they're, they're calling God uh, Adonai, which is Adonis. <clears throat> and that's one of the ways that you can demonstrate that God in the Old Testament is actually the same as mm. Jesus in the New Testament because Adonai is born uh, from, as a seed that falls from uh, his mother whose name is Mira or Mir. Now she's mm. a tree because she had uh, she broke the rules and copulated with a deity that she wasn't her family didn't want her to or something. I maybe getting the details wrong off the top of my head, but it's something just like that. And so she gets punished by being turned into a tree, the myrrh tree. Think like frankincense and myrrh, mm -hmm. but her name is, you see how similar that name is to Mary, right? Mm -hmm. It's the same right, name. Right. So uh, she she gets turned into a tree and then the, the fruits of her <laughs> copulation are mm -hmm. the seed is a seed that falls from the tree and goes into the underworld. And then from that sprouts into the beautiful solar deity Adonis, Adonai, the God of the Old Testament. So that's uh, that's important because not only does it show the synchro, like doesn't it syncretizes the Jehovah character with Jesus very directly, but it uh, also shows that it's the same being as Kronos because this is where. It's the, the corn myth or the mythos of the seed is what we're talking about, which is about the, again, the perpetual renewal and cycles of life in both the micro and macrocosm because the, and why it's chronos or time is that that word, if you just take, you can learn a lot about words by just taking the vowels out, right? So you take, take the vowels out of chronos, spell it the way you would in a language like Phoenician or Hebrew, and it's K-R-N or Kaf Resh Nun, QRN, KRN, and that's corn. It's the same word as corn. Mm -hmm. And a corn or a kernel is a seed. So mm -hmm. that's the, you know, that's one of the uh, perennial symbols of the deity or of God is actually the seed itself. Mm -hmm. 
Because when you think about it, what is more symbolic of the, the, the mystery of God and the generative power of life than a seed? I mean, like this in, infinitesimally tiny little thing that could become a tree that lives, outlives generations and generations of human beings and becomes gigantic. I mean, there's some trees that are so big. I mean, allegedly there's trees that are, that were way bigger than what we have now. Mm -hmm way Absolutely. way bigger like yeah. like we, we may be in a time where everything's quite a bit smaller so i like that a lot too i like i guess i did have some stuff about trees more about seeds but like that mythos of the seed is an important version of the uh the one story the monomyth if you want to call it that 